So today I'm just going to talk about my methodology on how I actually diagnose various iPhones. So this one here, I've got an iPhone 8, the customer told me it was dead. He had dropped it, it had cracked the bottom left hand corner of the display, or of the glass around the display. It also cracked the back cover, and also cracked the tempered glass that was previously on there in the top right hand corner. So he described the symptoms as being dead. The first thing I'd normally do from there, which I'll do in this video, is to connect it to a power source with a USB amp reader. So what I'll do is I'll zoom in on it. But typically you should be getting 5 volt going to the device and around or above 0 0.4 amps or 0 0.40 at this point it's sitting at 0 0.38 but the amperage shouldn't typically get over about 1.5 amp at least on most models of iPhones from there if it wasn't powering or getting drawing any amps at all the next thing I'd inspect would be the charger port as we can see on this one it is sitting out just slightly so let's say the charger port's clear it's still not drawing any amps or it's drawing a really erratic amount the next thing I'd want to do from there would be to open up the phone itself and then I would connect my battery tester that I purchased from the Wozniak store onto it and check its battery health and current capacity let's say the capacity of it comes back Let's say it says it's half charged, I'd still potentially swap it over to a known good battery. Then my next train of thought there would be try out a different charger port inside the, inside the phone itself. So from there I'd disconnect the existing one, fold it out of the way and connect up a brand new charger port. From there, if it's still not showing any signs of life, I'd suspect that there'd be some form of main, mainboard damage, which usually would mean I'd stop or leave the repair at, that, at this stage. Once you get to this stage here, typically it would be try a different screen, remove camera or disconnect cameras, disconnect anything that's possibly able to be disconnected and see if you can get it to draw power. If it starts drawing power, excellent, that gives you a bit of an idea. If it doesn't, then I'd say it would re require further board repair and micro soldering. But typically, most of the time, you should be able to find out just by these few basic steps how damaged the phone is. And usually also find a possible solution without having to go too far into digging into the phone. But anyway, that's just a a quick overview of my thoughts that usually happen when I go to when I go to repair a phone that has been dropped in anyway I'll catch you later bye